Hello everybody. Welcome to Tipo's Corner. Today's deck is called Flasklands. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. It's kind of a working title, but we're in historic. For anybody new, I'm Travis. I'm your host. And the reason we decided to do this is because we got four copies of Elsewhere Flask. And the Brothers War expansion gave us cards like Lay Down Arms. It's, it's basically what you call, I guess, a, a horizontal cycle. Each color got a card based on this theme where you can have an effect based on the number of that color land that you have. So, Elsewhere Flask changes your land to one specific land type. And we don't have a lot of creatures, which is a drawback, because we kind of have to wait. And I hate to wait. But we do have a copy of Shadow Sphere, so Hexproof and Indestructible are covered. Sometimes those particular cards can give us problems. And we'll see what kind of removal these guys have. Green and black usually has ample creature removal at their disposal. We made them think. Or they're scared. They're scared of the Leviathan and they're already roping us. This is unusual. I'm used to playing a lot of really fast decks on Historic lately. Would we get rid of Slimefoot? Eh, I get the feeling this is like a graveyard recursion deck, yeah? Alright, we've got Corrupt. It's an instant. It's a sorcery, not an instant, so... Hopefully they don't have Discard. Our deck is kind of reactive with the way these cards are. We want to build up a sufficient mass to use Corrupt. We didn't bother attacking with Cherix yet. Deathbloom Thalid, okay. And Lay Down Arms is also a problem, right? Because it's also a sorcery, not an instant. But they're tapped out, so let's go ahead and attack. 017 becomes a 314. Not a lot of damage. We'll just get him back down to his 20. And if he doesn't have a blinking kind of spell, maybe we just hold on to our removal for something more threatening than a 2-2. He's going to take that. That's good too, because we got the Path to Perils. Uh-oh. Okay, there goes our guy. Should have equipped him with Shadow Sphere. Back when we had the chance. But we can already afford the full path of peril, so we can pay the cleave cost. So it doesn't matter that Yavamaya Shepherd is three mana, we can still get it. Ooh, flow of knowledge. If we do that, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just clear the board first, since I have two of these. I'd like to have just a teensy bit more land draw. I feel like we have enough time. All right, he's got a ramp. And we've got four planes right now. So if he does anything for four, we can get rid of it with one mana. Mill two cards. And he gets creatures back. Which one are you got? Oh, you have <laughs> only two choices, really. Then he's going to get all his lands back. Only one land. Okay. Ooh, another flask. Excellent. Um, 
let's let's wait on that till his turn. Two lands in the graveyard. Well, he's kind of a gross card. At the beginning of each upkeep. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Okay, so we're going to do this. Activate ability. Turn everything blue. Flow of knowledge. We get seven cards. We do have to get rid of a couple. Let's get rid of the tap land in the swamp. hoping for a wizard class but oh well so we do that let's cast ex no wait five can we do that on let me think for a sec let's make everything a plane You can go away. Exile. Don't tell me you have protection for it. Destroy target creature. Oh, he wants to get it back. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Come on. They take a lot of time during my turn, did you notice? Okay, we go get back the flask. Draw a card. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go get back another flask. Draw a card. Emery! Sweet. Okay, so we need to discard down to seven. What do we lose? Uh, let's lose a path of peril. Dryad's back. Destroy everybody. Bring down Emery. Didn't like what we lost, but oh well. Uh, do I not have two mana? Dang. I keep using up all my man, all my land. This is a very land intensive deck. Do I have any? I don't have any artifacts in there right now. Okay, so I can use one and lose one and bring it back. Right? Emery's odd. So is Slimefoot, unfortunately. <gasps> he has a planeswalker. The undead make great allow minions. such things. Loyal and silent. <laughs> Rise and shine. Okay. Flask. Activate. Everything turns into a swamp. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just do this. Done. They don't have a way to gain life, do they? You gain one life if Saperlene dies. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they would need to lose two Saperlings. Well, 
that. Okay, that gives them one sapperling. Each player sacrifices two creatures. From battle to the grave. That gives them back one life point, right? I'll find a use for you. They were a lousy servant anyway. They've still got seven mana. They've got a lot of mana at their disposal. Uh, don't destroy the flask. Don't destroy the flask. You little puke. That was going to be my, my win the next turn. Two, four, five, six. I don't have enough to do it the other way. Okay. Let's get rid of odd. Let's go search for a particular instant or sorcery card. Let's go look for recommission, because I can cast it this turn. Recommission brings back my flask. And lets me draw a card. Now, as long as they don't top deck a Binding of the Old Gods again and destroy my flask, we're good. Five Sapperling tokens. And a zombie. None of that matters Putrid, anymore. But effective. Swamps. Good game. Straight to the face. Final score, 26 to negative 1. Alright. They have a little sapling swarming strategy. I have three Path to Perils. Alright. Let's go in and show you the overall deck. And we always remind you during these little pauses, I need more likes. I don't have that many. It doesn't cost anything to hit the little button for me. Okay, so, four Elsewhere Flask. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, so it replaces itself. So we have 63 um, cards in the deck. Um, since these replace themselves, every time I put one down, I'm just going to get to draw another one. It's only costing me two, so I don't mind going to 63 cards. Overall, our mana value, average 3.2 with 24 lands. Oh, how many creatures do I have? Only six creatures. Okay, so that's the weak point of the deck. But the rest of what I have fits in with the theme here. So we've got the three Brothers War cards. Lay down arms, sorcery, exile target creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. So I need to have them all be planes sometimes if the monster's big enough. But if I only have one or two planes and it's a one or two drop creature that I want to get rid of, that's fine. Um, the next one from Brothers War is Flow of Knowledge. Draw a card for each island you control, then discard two cards. And I don't necessarily need to use the flask for this one, but it could be handy if I do. Um, I have two copies of Wizard Class, so I have no maximum hand size. If I can get uh, a Wizard Class draw when I draw this, then maybe I can still keep the extra cards. And the four corrupts you saw we won with basically just casting two of the corrupts when we had a lot of land out. Uh, deals damage to any target equal to the number of swamps you control. I could have done it a different way, but uh, damage direct to face was fine just because we got up to nine lands. So that was perfect. The other creatures that are in here are basic land dependent. Uh, so what that means is Nightmare. Nightmare's power and toughness are equal to the number of swamps you control. I've got a number of swamps already in the deck that are this is a decent amount. I don't need to necessarily use the flask. But we'll use the flask at strategic points if it can maximize the damage. Um, otherwise, for these, we might not even use the flask if it's safer to save it. We've got Soul Hunter Rakshasa. Can't block, but when he enters the battlefield, if you cast it, it deals one damage to target opponent for each swamp you control. Got two of those. And then we have two copies of Cherix the Raging Isle, legendary Leviathan Crab. He's got a version of Ward, right? Spells your opponent's cast at target Cherix, costs two more to cast. 
uh, and he gets plus x minus x till end of turn where x is the number of islands you control. So if I have three islands, he becomes uh, 314. And he can attack or block. For the rest, it's basically ways to get the flask back and removal, right? We've got um, the two wizard class I mentioned. We've got one shadow sphere. Uh, we've got two fateful absence for planeswalkers, one fierce retribution if a particularly devastating creature is attacking. Four recommissions, return target artifact or creature with mana value three or less. So we can get back the shadow sphere, we can get back the elsewhere flasks and keep reusing them. We've got one Heliod's intervention to gain us life if we need it or destroy target artifacts and enchantments. We've got Emery which can also um, get stuff from our graveyard. Uh, but we have to mill uh, four cards when we enter. And since I only have five artifacts, um, I'm usually just looking at losing those four cards and they won't necessarily be artifacts. So if we have the luxury of time, we could hold on to Emery and save it till we already know we have uh, one of those five artifacts in the graveyard. Solve the equation, go get us basically a uh, board wipe whenever we need it. We've got three Path of Perils. If we uh, end up getting uh, white and black mana, we can destroy everybody and pay for the cleave cost for six. Otherwise, if it was just going to be all those saplings, then we could just pay three. So early board wipe if we need it. One extinction event, choose odd or even, and you exile the mana value of the creatures. That's, uh, that applies to us as well, so we've got to be careful with that. And what's left? One farewell to exile everything except planeswalkers. And then for our mana base, we don't have any field of runes, no trick lands. We've got the basic lands, and then for each of the dual lands from Dominaria United, each one of those counts as either one, or well, both actually, of each of its basic, of the two basic lands it represents. So that's the idea. This was a horizontal cycle, like the, the green and red cards I threw in there at first, but it was too much. You can't do five colors with this. I think you can barely do these three colors. And it may not be the most dependable deck. I think it takes too long to get going. You notice we have a lot of expensive cards. A lot of cards that we don't really want to use right away. Um, we're not facing the same guy, are we? Mm, he's only two. Whenever Swamp or Force enters a battlefield, draft a card. Let's just get rid of them now. Done. Not getting what we want. So, activate ability. Turn everything blue. Wizard class. Ah, three blue spells and no blue mana. <laughs> Podge Podge leaves. Okay. Um, even though he did nothing, he saw we didn't have blue mana. Maybe they were having trouble getting land themselves. Maybe because I've got such a jank deck with only six creatures, we're getting some interesting uh, choice opponents. It's hard to think somebody else's uh, brain is working enough to try and say, oh, let me take the Three Brothers War cards and Elsewhere Flask, and let's go to Historic where there's tons of uber-overpowered cards, and let's make a deck out of it. That's, I haven't run any... Uh, I never run internet searches on my decks, so I never know if there's uh, duplicate thinking out there and, and uh, what you call parallel evolution. There's got to be somebody else out there who's already gotten this, right? He's decided to take the flasks out for a spin. Oh, you're a disgusting creature. Um, white has cards, for instance, that can make things indestructible, so we're not going to wait. I don't know that we can afford to wait. I don't have two black mana sources yet, and no elsewhere flask to make them that way. And no blue again to start powering up the wizard class. Still no blue. 
Path of Peril doesn't help me there. Three mana creatures. And you're gonna gain extra life, right? So we're already in trouble because it doesn't give me what I need and we missed a land drop. Little puke. Four flasks that could replace themselves if I got them and don't get those. No. Because we went so quickly last time, isn't it? Give me the life gain angel deck. That's just great. Um, nothing matters now. We're dead. We can't do anything. Five lands, none of them had blue. That wasn't really a good game. I didn't get the mana I needed. I really don't want to mess with the mana base. So maybe I just need to put extra lands in. I'm at 63. Maybe the flask replacing themselves is not good enough. I figured with that and having the flow of knowledge, that's four additional draw cards. But if they're not going to give me the blue to start with, maybe I should just start padding with some extra islands. We'll see. Here's 160 cards. We got some blue for a change. And two flasks. So, that's the theme of the deck. This might not be a perfect start, but... Let's see what happens. You, you don't usually want these up front. Well, you don't want the six mana cards up front either. In graveyard recursion, so it might be cool if we end up getting the farewell card before too much longer. In the fact, I like getting the flasks up front actually, because since they do replace themselves, we'll just cycle through those and get some early card draw. I don't think they have anything. I don't think this deck I'm facing has anything against artifacts. Come on, it's my turn. Thank you. Excellent. Now, when we use them, we can bring them back. That's good for me. And if we get uh, just one of the Path to Perils coming up, we'll be in good shape. I don't have any way to protect Cherix. Let's see if I get a blue, though. If I get a blue mana source, I'll put that out now so we can summon Cherix down. Yes, this is my entire deck. I just summon flasks and keep drawing cards. That's all we do. All right. Four lands. We still can't cast a single spell. <laughs> Cute. Cemetery Protector. Are you going to get rid of a creature? He's going to do a creature. Okay. I'm getting to where I need something now. Because our life is starting to get a little low. Ooh, extinction event. Let's see. Even, even, even. Even Steven. That works for me. I 
That was beautiful. <laughs> He's looking at my graveyard now. There's only the one card in the graveyard, buddy. There's not a lot. Oh, gross. This is not the normal graveyard recursion decks that I was thinking of. This is a mix. All right. Um, let's do activate ability. Make everybody blue. Let's draw some cards. Put down a land. Oh, we have to discard one, two. There. Put you down. And then we're going to need to discard the end of our turn. Um, I guess we'll discard a recommission. I do have six lands now. And we can get rid of... I kind of want them to put out a second wedding announcement. Let's give them time before we use Helid's intervention. Put this down. Okay, now we can put down Cherix. We've at least got a blocker. And now here's where we see if they have removal handy. I expect they would. But it's a large deck. They've got at least three colors. Let's also put down Shadow Spear. Yeah, they're going to kill my Leviathan, aren't you? Cost some life. They don't care. That's our turn. We're doing 41 cards left. They got 143. And my deck does not do well against mill decks. Really? Out of 160 cards like and you get Elspeth on curve. Streets. That's a problem. Be brave. They're up to six already. Okay, it's not a problem. We'll get we'll take care of that. All right, flask. Everything becomes a swamp. Seven. Uh, Once I've rested, for one turn. I'll be back. Are you really not going to put out another wedding wedding festivity? Braids. Karn? Elsewhere flask. Activate. Turn everything into a swamp. Get rid of braids. Get seven life back. It would be nice to find a wizard class for more land. But we're kind of holding our own at least. Six mana, you're not going to do nothing? Nothing? What do we want to do? A chupacabra. So no wizard class and no lands, huh? We got a land. 
Recommission. Get a flask. Draw some cards. Two, three, four, five. Turn everything into islands. Flow of knowledge. Discard two. Get rid of the tap lands. Play wizard class so we don't have to discard anything else. Another flow of knowledge is ready to go. We got some lands to play. We got some removal. I'm starting to feel better about my life. Don't you dare. You little puke. 160 cards and you finally have something to deal with that. Three, six, seven. Okay, we're fine. I was just looking forward to using flow of knowledge again. Alright. Not a problem. Lay down arms gets rid of you. Lay down arms gets rid of you. Recommission. Brings back a flask. Two, three, four, five. Flask turns everything into swamps. Rakshasa! Nine points of damage. They have green! They have other colors! And you're out of juice. I don't have a swamps ready. Nah. Eh. It's fine. Destroy artifacts. One and a two. A one and a two. Auto pay. How many swamps do I have? Oh, it has to be cast. Never mind. I forgot about that. We'll just get rid of that then. And equip you, because you can't block anyway, so you're going to be pure offense. And we're done. Yes! I have 10 life again. Life is good. Literally, figuratively, no matter what. How do you like that, snart? My opponent snart, you thought you had me. You thought you had me. You got Jack. Which was a cool game when it first came out. I don't know how the sequels went. You Got Jack was a nice little quiz type game. Vivian. Let's tear this place up. You can destroy an artifact. Are you gonna go look for a creature? They're looking for a creature. Come to me. Adeline. Okay. Let's see, how many flasks have we used? Three? Excuse me a second. We'll get rid of the planes. We'll get rid of... Fierce Retribution. You can go away. Back above 20 life. Enjoy it while you got it. We'll get rid of the planeswalker. Not dead yet. I need my fourth flask. Maybe I need to have something in here that goes and searches for artifacts. Uh, yeah, you can go away.
Yes! You can go away. We finally got our wizard class. That means we get to draw some cards. And we get to do this. And we get to do this. Flash comes back, draw a card. Rakshasa gets more powerful. Bam! Okay, Rakshasa, how many swamps do we have? Four, six, they will be 12 swamps. So we win next turn. Unless he chump blocks. We have trample. Can you keep making those? He has a lot of those. Okay. So we're gonna do a little trick. The trick is called Pat the Peril. Come on. Not with the cleave cost, just to get rid of the tokens. You can sacrifice Darien if you want. He does not. Do you block Rakshasa? You need to, but do you know that you need to? Or are you hoping to make some tokens next turn? He doesn't know. We've done this once already, right? Hey, where's all my other stuff? We don't need it. We have Rakshasa. Kablamo! I can't believe we won again in Historic! Whooping Protector. We're going to play one more. Just because it's kind of fun when it works. I've always been a sucker for card draw, so the flow of knowledge card is uh, really appetizing for me. I was probably going to make a mono blue deck with that, regardless, but... Maybe a, maybe a blue-green deck. Get some ramp going. I don't know. Since we have four copies, we do end up getting it early and too often to help us. But, you know, we also got... The, the problem is that I think most of these ideas tend to lead towards the more expensive cards, but they did think of a good cheap way to do it with lay down arms. Um, I guess we're just going to do that. Do they just pump up the shadow or do they bring others down? If they're just going to bring up the shadow, I think we're just going to kill them. That's not helpful. We missed a land drop. And only one planes, so lay down arms isn't going to be helpful that much. And we missed two land drops. And I forgot to add in my... I said I was going to add in at least one island, right? And I didn't do it yet. I just went straight into the battle. And they get the guy back. They don't have a problem. They got all of their land drops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Does it matter what I go get? What is there to go get? Um, I can go get this. And you'll see that I have it. I guess we're getting rid of the expensive one.
This is going to be quick if I'm not going to get any more land. And it's only our opponents who can't gain life. And shoot. This is just all kinds of useless, isn't it? See, we spent all that effort, all that time. It takes us a really long battle to win the battle. About my past here. And then immediately they land Cyrus. Win it. I don't know anymore whether I should blame wizards or in this particular case if I should blame myself. But these are only two drops. If we got one more black monosaurus, we could at least cast Path the Peril. That's not well, but that's a land blocker. Let's see if they ever need it. Otherwise that gives me a couple more turns. What is this? It's an alchemy card. This is my city, and I'm going to protect it. And he's got two of those. Three angels, or two angels now. You can just fly over my head and keep paying me and gaining. He'll probably start pumping up the Angel of Unity, right? No, he's just going to pump up the priest itself. Okay. Uh, these are all even, right? That still leaves me facing Elspeth. And he just has the third one. Little puke. Seven mana. I know there's a hero inside you. To R4. And we need the other types of land. Notice we've got four blue and it doesn't give me anything. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the planeswalker. I shouldn't I have gotten to. involved. I need black and white, and it's only given me blue, basically. One more black or one more white would be all I would need. One or the other. And I was just talking about putting more blue in. I gotta look through the land cards. If you guys know of another one besides the Dominaria United ones that have... Maybe I need to put a Triome in? I don't know if I have the right Triome for that. Ah, oh, dying here. Four flasks. None of the flash show up to give me extra card draw. And they've got nine lands out of this. Seriously? All right, we're gonna end it there. I gotta look at the mana base, I guess. I gotta I gotta put a little bit extra in, even just a mana dork. Maybe an artifact. I gotta rethink that. But we'll go in and we'll take you we'll have you take another good good look at the deck. I'm gonna have to tinker. If I get it working better, I'll bring it back and show you guys again. I do like the the couple of battles that we won where we actually got to show the deck and show all the cards. We got to use all of them. And, uh, and I did have one playtest where I went up against that alchemy card that brings out the power of nine. Man, that battle lasted forever, but he had way too many counter spells. Um, but yeah, 24 lands, I guess, is not enough. And I just don't know. Like in that case, I was thinking we needed more blue because we kept, at first we got dealt blue and we didn't have the others. And here they did the opposite, right? They gave us uh, mostly a mono base of blue and we were missing the one or the other one that we needed. So I need something to mix up. And isn't it weird that you end up with um, all of these options with these dual colors and we still have a case where four lands doesn't allow us to cast specific cards that you know are four mana or less. So it's a tricky deck. Um, but you know, it's a very specific concept with the flask. And anyway, we'll leave it there. Remember like and subscribe. Leave comments if you got some card suggestions for me, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks. Have a good one.